so I'm currently packing for He Manifest. Here are the clothes that I am bringing with me, I think. Sunday, two options for Saturday, and then my PJs. That is what I'm packing clothing-wise. I have my phone and my sunglasses and my camera battery. Let's move on to the next clip. <laughs> I think it's at dinner. We just got back from dinner, about to head over to the show. If you guys don't know what Humana is, Humana Festival is in Louisville, Kentucky. It happens every year. Um, it's basically a festival full of new works that have been workshopped and rehearsed and produced, and they are usually phenomenal. <laughs> um, that's like putting a big blanket over this whole thing, is just saying how great it is. But in reality, the new works that are shown here provoke a lot of thought. Um, there was one last year called Do You Feel Anger? And I feel like to explain it would actually make it sound really stupid. It's such a fascinating piece of theater. But um, anyway, I'm hoping that we see more things like that this year. Tonight we're seeing a show called... I don't remember. Let me look. Actually, I can't look. I have to go. But um, I'm really excited and... You all should be too, my camera's gonna die, so I'll see you guys after the play. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm currently walking down the hallway of my hotel, and I might stop vlogging randomly and like panic because I hate people watching me vlog. But we just finished watching two plays. It is currently like 1 a.m. Like, the first show was... I liked it, but I don't know what it was about. <laughs> like, it made me think, but I don't know what I really thought about. And then, the second show, I couldn't even like, tell you what that was about, if I'm being honest. I'll talk to you guys after and I'm working out. Basically, I just finished my workout. It's fancy as hell. I'll be back. Oh, this is shadowy. This is gonna be too bright. Mm, mm. <laughs> Hello! Good morning from the room. 421. 421. So I can close. tell you that. <laughs> and I can tell you that because we're going to be gone by the time I post this. Not that anyone on the internet wants to stalk me. <laughs> but anyway. I don't know that. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to go see two places. Three. Two, two plays today and a keynote, and a speaker. keynote speaker. And the keynote speaker is. Hell! I don't remember, but he I wrote one of the, so we saw a piece at the last theater festival, KCACTF, and he wrote one of the pieces that we saw there, and he's speaking here, which is cool. We're also gonna see The Corpse Washer. The Corpse yeah. Washer, and, and How to Defend, defend Yourself, which I'm really I'm excited really about. I'm really excited for that one. There's a lot of like, because I wanna be excited about it, I just don't know why too. There's a lot of stage combat in it, but it's Ooh. not stage combat, it's self-defense. Is it yeah. real? I mean, self-defense itself is like a safe, yeah. Yeah. It's a thing, and we'll tell you about it later. Just like I did last night, awkwardly in the gym by myself. Okay, bye! Bye! bye. <laughs> okay, so before we get in trouble, if we get in trouble, oh, you're so tall. I'm very tall. So we are in the third show. Yes. 
of this conference. Yes. And um, we got out of a keynote speaker this morning, and now we're here. I can't show you because I'm afraid that I'll get in trouble, but um, it's basically like a gymnasium slash yeah. gym. It's like bleachers, there's a bench with some weights under it, and there looks what looks like a belly Wait, maybe bar. Maybe you can see the big glasses. You can see I'll forward. zoom in yeah. on, my, on my glasses. Hopefully you can see it. I'm really hoping that we like this show. Because Me too. I heard someone talking as they walked in, and they said it was really good. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah. good. Um, I see an usher looking at me, but we're going to pretend like that's not happening. After this show, we're going to get dinner at... Spaghetti Factory, not spaghetti warehouse. Factory. Um, and then, some bread. and then, try to get orgasm on camera and stop it. Huh? <laughs> You're gonna go back and watch that. You're gonna be really confused. I'm gonna put little subtitles at the bottom so that she knows what I said, and then she's gonna <laughs> feel really awkward. And after that, we have one more show. No, I like we have another show, and that one is. The corpse, the corpse washer, washer which tonight. just sounds terrifying. And then after oh that, God. tomorrow evening, we're seeing a horror play called A Thin Place. Or the Thin Place or A Thin Place? I think it's The Thin Place. You're gonna look? I'm gonna look. The Thin Place. <sighs> look at all our stuff. Wow. <laughs> we're here. The Thin Place. Okay, yeah. So that's really exciting. We're in a different theater tomorrow night too, one that we haven't been in yet. That'll be DJ. exciting. What's the DJ? Oh, Victor Joy Jory. Theater. Test from level two. I wonder if it's so smaller. It's building. I hope it's smaller. I hope it's smaller too. It'll be yeah. So I've never seen a horror play before. Have you ever seen a horror play before? No, I'm really excited. I don't even know like what it like what a horror yeah. play is. Is it just scary? I don't know. Our whole group isn't here yet. Yeah. It's 12 no to 16 and no one's here. It starts in 15, 14 minutes. Which is really weird because like people are here. I'm gonna show you the people and not the set. People are, are present. We're gonna go right over the set, right over it. There we go. So it's weird, it's weird that no one is here. Um anyway, I will talk to you guys after the show and tell you what I think, and I, I really think I'm gonna like this one. It has a bunch of stage combat in it, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Oh, I, okay, so I'm in it. Yeah. I wish that we had I thought you okay. meant it was like this. That, like, so this is the part of the video where I covered my camera with my finger and uh, we lost most of this audio, but we're just gonna salvage what we can and just turn your headphones up or your computer up and then I'll warn you when it gets loud again. Okay. I was in every single but whatever. because I don't know if it's actually a bad thing or not. I didn't show the set last time because I was like, oh, I can't show the set because it's not my set. Because like, I got in trouble once at a Broadway show uh, seeing the touring version of The Grinch. It's like so good. It's actually like, smiling at me, so I'm gonna take my to look at me. Okay, bye. After he managed to watch the show tonight, and it was called The Corpse Washer, and it was very interesting. I wasn't emotionally attached to it, but there was this really beautiful moment where like they washed this corpse and it was just probably my favorite part of the entire show. So Oh my god. <laughs> that made it worse. Who the hell is Bucky? Get off my face. No! Tell me Aaron. It is Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> it is. Is what happened? Hey. Hey guys, it's Editing Parker, and I am sitting here realizing that I never told you my thoughts about how to defend yourself, so we're going to do that. It was my favorite show of the entire conference, and it was really well written, and the characters all were extremely well-rounded with beautiful character arcs. Um, there really wasn't a dull moment in the show, and the way that it was blocked and the acting, it just it was all great. It was all great. The set was great. The lights were great. The acting was great. 
it's definitely in my top five favorite shows I've ever seen. But it, it really was focused on college life and like how um, as we like as females and males get older, they're, they're groomed by society and like their families um, on how to perceive like sex. It shows the double standard in the side of like, this is what I should be saying. And like, this is what ever, like, this is what happens. Um, there's moments where like the guys are like, yeah, I'm a feminist. And they're like, support the women. And the next moment they're hanging out with their frat bros, you know, and they're like, oh yeah, we have this, um, this party coming up and it's what it was uh gym bros and yoga hoes and it was just like that's so interesting that this guy comes into this class to help um like advocate for self-defense and like women's rights and their bodies and then he's throwing a party where he titled it that (laughs) um and like that's it's just kind of the whole point um and then there's like other moments too where the girls are you know, they're they're advocating for themselves and trying to learn how to, like, defend their bodies. Um, And then the next moment, the next scene, they're talking about this boy that this girl likes, and they're all like, do you have sex with him? And he's like, and she's telling the story, and they're like, oh, my God, like, yes, like, da-da-da-da-da-da. But it doesn't feel, um, like, the whole thing doesn't feel quite right. Um, And some of the things that are said are just, the whole thing feels like a double standard, and I think that that's kind of the point. It felt very realistic. Um, And, like, those expectations that are put on us like, as a college students and, like, young adults in general uh, about, like, our bodies and, like, how we're supposed to react to sex and all those things. It's very interesting. But anyway, back to the vlog. Hotel. It's called 21 City Museum and Hotel. Um, it's pretty cool art. Everything's kind of, yeah, I don't know. You have to see it, obviously. Um, yeah, we're all really tired. We just got up and we went to this talk back and then we went to another talk back and then we went and got lunch and now we are here until 6 and at 6 o'clock we'll get ice cream and then at 7 o'clock is the final show of Humana Festival um, and it's called The Thin Place and it's a horror, a horror play. Um, I've never been to a horror play before but I'm really excited about it. Now we're just waiting to go get ice cream and I'm really excited to go do that. And there's Donovan. Give me almond butter. Oh no, but I can do a taste test of. This is a key to a, uh, a Dodge van. And uh, it is owned by. I have to cut that part out. I don't have my location on here. Okay, it's owned by. Our university. Our university. And uh, I'm gonna taste it for you. Hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do regret doing that. Tune in next time. It's not food. It wasn't food. It was never food. It Last was a key. Was it was the food. whole time. I'm talking about now. Oh. It wasn't a key. You're a key. Ice cream? You need a key to my heart. That's at six. We can leave earlier. Everyone else is sitting right there. And if they want to go to ice cream now, we can. I want to. Okay, we're going to go to ice cream now. Bye. <laughs> Yummy! It was so good! Look how beautiful! Wonderful! Oh. Yeah, I can do, I can judge this one. Okay, I'm ready. And you can cut out the key stuff because that's gonna Okay. <laughs> so we're here at. Spell it for us, don't know. E-H-R-L-E-R-S. Apostrophe. Earlers. 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 Earlers ice cream place in Louisville, Kentucky, downtown. 
I got the uh, brownie sundae. And um, on that it has brown peanuts, caramel. Um, I got the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream and it had whipped cream and cherries. So the cherries, get on to. Um <coughs> the ice cream is a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right. I, yeah, this has been my review. Overall rating. Ooh, overall. Six point two five out of ten. Great. Sunday brown. Was it brownie Sunday? Was there brownie? There was brownie. Was there Sunday? Uh, it is Sunday. So yeah. All right. So there you go. A hundred percent of it is accurate. So. Great. That's it. That's the review. What are we doing next? Uh, at 7.30, which is in about, no, seven. Seven. All the above. in about an hour, less than, we are making a seven minute trek westward towards Actors Theater at 6.40-ish. Um, we'll be going to see a show. And it is a world premiere of a little play called The Thin Place. So anyway, that's what we're doing next. It's going to be grand. Great Maybe. views. Hey! Grand? Huh? Alrighty folks, I didn't film an outro for this video um, because I just didn't. It got really late and we went home and that was pretty much the end of Humana Fest and it was pretty great. Um, the Thin Place was good. Um, I thought it was probably my second favorite show. The, the seating was weird, so like people missed moments that were supposed to be I think really important. Um, like I saw this figure floating in the air and only half of the audience saw it and the other half claims that we're all crazy and that we didn't see anything. That's just the thing. But anyway, thanks for joining me for this vlog and I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification button. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the things. Bye.